Welcome Zodiac. It's the Soul Family Read. This is for the 16th of November, um, 2021. A year that had, it got to live in infamy, right? <laughs> Ethereal Visions Illuminated Tarot deck for those who give a darn. <clears throat> Jump and pound the stick now for a while. Let me get a new, new one, but no, still fine. Um, Taurus in the ninth house, uh, astrologer too. And always keep that in mind if you need any help with astrology. And always, uh, when I talk about astrology here, if I do, you know, sun, moon, rising, and Venus. But this reading, you know, it might be, uh, it, I might talk about transits. I think, like, as astrologer too, it's like the transit energy is not that hard to understand if, if you just uh, understand your own chart and you just have to pay attention to that, and nothing else. You know, I don't know, 15 minutes a day or maybe on the weekend, an hour kind of going over your chart. Yourself, even now, so many tools that can be so helpful. Um, the big thing now is, you know, Saturn and Uranus square for like a year. And, you know, that's my sixth to ninth house. You know, my spirituality, belief systems, um, daily routines. Saturn's there too, my sixth house kind of Saturn's boy, so I've been really focusing on daily routines and my health, and uh, maybe not as best as I can, but I have been, you know, I've had some help. Um, so I kind of want to, with this reading, just look at, uh, it's kind of nuts and bolts, and do like an eight card spread. This is the one I usually use to, to do the singles reads, but it's uh, the four pillars read. So I'm looking at the four aspects of really life. Uh, and I think of a relationship, how I normally use it. Um, but, you know, with the eight card spread, you can do a lot anyway. Um, <clears throat> so, but I just structure it. You have the two cards for the emotional aspect, two for the intellectual, two for, uh, we'll look at sexual and love aspects. And why not? And, um, and you know, I mean, I'm going to get sex into it somewhere. And then the core values and lifestyle. And I'm pretty shuffled, guys. So, thank you for joining me. Knight of Swords energy. I just want to take a look at it for a minute. It's going to be important. This is where I'll see the moon usually uh, in a singles read. I'm going to try to read that lightly today in terms of astrology. And I'm looking more uh, for um, advice in our own um, spiritual sort of um, structure now. Kind of really where, where are we at here. But now we're looking emotionally, the emotional nature, the Knight of Wands. So over the Sagittarius card, Temperance. Wow. So let me, uh, as I often do, also then look at the intellectual aspects, emotional aspects here. Intellectual Strength card. Two out of three is Major Kana. Now I just point out uh, this strength card is like the youngest looking strength woman I've seen, it's like a girl here. Um, so, boy, it's all about Leo, it's all about heart, it's all about uh, bravery. Um, I think it's just fifth house uh, energy too, the sun is the lord there, creativity, um, fertility. Um, romance and fun sex among among so much else <laughs> I must say in the nine of wands so <clears throat> before I look at the love and sex and the core values and the lifestyle I talk about the emotional and the intellectual kind of this is conscious this is unconscious this and our tarot reading y'all say this is the a, a queer and intentional, uh, uh, what's intentional on your mind, and this is what's going to be below the surface of the mind, uh, influences maybe you're not aware of. Um, so I just take that um, into account. But this night of swords, you know, when I do the readings, I make a joke, this is a coming at you night, coming at you, because I mean, they're coming right at you there. There's no mistaking. Um, and so I think it's a time, I kind of been saying this, and this is over temperance, the Sagittarius card. 
which is a, a lot of uh, optimistic, optimistic go for it energy too. It's not. It's also taking advantage of opportunities, Sagittarius. So going for it. And that Knight of Swords, I think this is saying like be very clear about what we're going for. This is in the emotional aspect, and because kind of what we're going for is uh, an influencing. Now this is relevant to my sixth house, you could say. Uh, because when we're in temperance, uh, temperance energy, Sag, it's patient, but it's patient because everything's cool. You know, we're not worried about anything. And by the way, it's like a great place to be in for manifestation. How about that? You know? Um, and it's like saying, really uh, go for this. Make it like a conscious thing. I mean, I, that, that totally rings a bell. It's literally what I'm doing. I'm literally telling myself is just, just really start to Dave appreciate how much you have how fortunate you are and you know at first it's kind of clunky like Stuart Smalley dang gum in I'm good enough and I'm smart enough and people like me but after a while these things it sticks you know so I don't know any uh, other way to do it when you do a manifestation you know um, and you know, this is angelic energy too, you know, this is like, I didn't even talk out loud, we need to, to our angels and guides, it's important, and give permission and ask for help wherever we want it, and this is doing that, like very much doing things, doing it out loud, doing it directly, doing it with thought, doing it with a lot of intention, I think the Knight of Swords over Temperance here is kind of intention too. Uh, emotionally it's feeling like we're we've uh, this is we've let the arrow go we've given it thought and we've put it put it out there into the universe in no uncertain terms you know come coming right at the universe here's the deal but then we're in this temperance energy just living our lives and we're, we're saying to ourselves well uh, uh, where's the problem where's the fire everything's fine in fact it's great you know, and I think this adds to, now look this in like the unconscious position of the emotional nature, right? It's already kind of unconscious emotional nature. <clears throat> so I think, you know, this is being protected by spirit, by guides, by angels, however you want to look at it. It's being divinely protected, you know. Um, and I totally just read intention there. And then and we're going to see the intellect here and see kind of the sun influence, uh, ego, um, very strong, very strong. And this, you know, uh, I totally relate. I'll count the bottom of the deck too here. Nine of cups, okay. Happy bachelor energy, being emotionally self-contained. I think we're mostly there, probably, you know, if you're watching this reading, um, you know, um, that's a great place to be in itself here All right. but um, you know this is really taking a lot of action and it basically not having success or not winning the war you know when you look at this this person this man he's gonna go back to the war he's not done yet so um, there's definitely an energy here of, and I always see strength as a gift, like we're given strength when I see it, especially in this position. Uh, this is for ourselves, for our, our um, you know, Mars energy, our ego, what our cells in life, what we want to do. Um, and it means we're gifted strength, but usually I always say it means kind of also as a flip side to a two-edged sword is it means we're going to undergo some kind of challenge and so we're going to need the strength but we will have enough to get by and here we are so we have had enough to get by if this is your reading and resonating at all then you would have this sense of having been challenged in the past but i get the feeling that this is this is with this uh, knight of swords and temperance we're really starting to put that behind us and put it into perspective and like we're preparing ourselves to whip out the last I ain't saying whip it out, but to whip out the last one, you know. Maybe not right this minute, but we're close. You know, he's standing up out there. He's out of his bed. He, he, you know, he's looking like maybe he wants payback even for whoever did that to him. Um, so 
it's the energy of wanting to get uh, back in the game here, whatever that means. And I think with the Knight of Swords and Temperance, okay, what it means is whatever our intention was. Like, I know what mine was, is, um, and, it, you know, 11-11, I nailed it twice yesterday morning, this morning, by, you know, coincidence or no coincidence. So, here we go, We're talking about 11-11, the lovers. So, for me, thank you, um, Spirit, that's a wrap, but... This is uh, often where I'm going to see Venus energy in the singles read here, Mars. Um, I'll keep, that's a, sure, that's a fine way to read this for us. Uh, if we're looking at the Venus of nature and the two of pentacles, you know, this is just being really uh, balanced. Um, I know they're both choice cards, um, uh, but I'm just, I'm not feeling either one of them as a choice right here. Um, I think it's being balanced in love, you know. Um, in other words, uh, having in your, in your chart as an astrologer with something like this, uh, Mars and Venus, you'd see them, you know, harmoniously aspected, you know, somehow uh, sextile we call it, or uh, trying, you know, uh, some, you know, in synastry, a uh, uh, conjunction can be cool, Mars and Venus. So also something to look for is. Uh, when you watch this, if you are having an interest in anyone else, um, watch the Mars and Venus uh, energies, because uh, that often speaks to anything being romantic, you know. But here, you know, Venus is also what our desire nature, and Mars is what? How do we get what we desire? So that's in balance. Like, we're not, like, lusting after something. Um, we're not uh, in... in doing whatever we have to to get it this is not doing whatever you have to this is doing things in a very balanced way uh, you know Saturn loves this energy you might be Saturn's boy like me you know I do read myself into this that's doing the right things you know um, and just love is important to you maybe it's love like Pisces love it's unconditional and you just want to just love being a condition why not who doesn't <clears throat> Wow, Ten of Pentacles, <laughs> core values and lifestyles, what this is. Let me see what's under the Ten of Pentacles, guys. The Knight of Wands. I love wrapping this up with the Knight of Wands here. Very powerful uh, position. And so in the corners, we have the Knight of Wands and the Knight of Swords. And also we have Temperance and the Ten of Pentacles. Uh, and Ten of Pentacles is such a powerful card. And the minor arcana, I mean, I don't know if there's a, a lot better card you can get than the Ten of Pentacles in the minor arcana. I mean, maybe that's overselling it, but, you know, this is really, it's like, you know, I keep saying, like, if you have peace, whatever, what else do you really need if you really have peace, for real, you know? This being just really solid, you know? Um, not being uptight. I was talking about this as a manifesting energy. I know what this means for me. And, you know, it's the walk away. It's walking away from my lifelong energy growing up with a single mom in poverty and uh, other issues. Um, and just feeling like that's how life's got to be. It doesn't. You know, I get that now. And so now it's making my body, helping my body to walk away from all that, what, what the fuck is it, but PTSD over all of these these constant thoughts of not being adequate, things you'll never have enough, you'll always be poor, you'll always struggle um, in this for health. It's uh, the attack that hit me seemed out of the blue. It wasn't really related to anything I could identify having to do with my behavior lifestyle. And so there is that, that energy of like, you know, well, when's the next shoe going to drop? So I'm trying to drop that in terms of the health. And I think that's what this is. It's getting into this balanced state place where we're putting it out there, what we want, and then we're just sort of letting it go and we're living our life and we're actually finding that it's working. Like, we are fine. Here we are. Everything's okay. We're not on the street. We have food to eat. And with the Knight of Wands, we're finally taking action. And I feel this too. Um, I feel like it's, it's a little bit still in the distance. It's like, but... We would be feeling, you remember, you know, we're with a wounded warrior here. Wounded warrior, big theme, big theme. Well, look at this. What's this? The wounded warrior's back, bitches. And I think that's the 10th wand. And this is finishing up what needs to be finished up. 
taking an action to finish up what needs to be finished up. And we have Leo energy here giving us strength to do this. Um, we're acting in a balanced, harmonious way. And I'm going to take it as, yeah, um, it's what I'm working on. Because I realize now, I'm resist, no, I get it now. I got it. It's not about you. It's not about anything going on out there. Um, it's all about what just goes on in here, um, which is uh, both empowering and terrifying. Uh, when you start to realize that your intentions can become like arrows that hit their mark before even being flung, it's a, a little scary. It's a lot of responsibility comes with that. So, thank you guys. Let me know. Uh, do share if you can think of any medium that uh, might appreciate this or uh, benefit from it. Um, do like uh, if you can. Comment it helps a lot. Helps the channel. Feel free. I'm I'm curious of what you uh, see here, how it relates, and uh, do subscribe if you haven't hit the bell. Thank you guys.